We're a local history museum. We have a couple of rooms of museum artifacts. Everything has a local hook, things that was going on in the local area. Uh, that includes all of Okaloosa County, across the Panhandle, Walton, Santa Rosa County. A lot of our history quickly goes into South Alabama where uh, many of the families migrated uh, from. This July will mark the 27th anniversary that the museum has been open. We opened small in a couple of rooms here. The, um, there's four buildings housed uh, the, in the block here. The two center ones were originally the Baker Mercantile Store. Uh, the building was built in 1907, so the Mercantile Store operated for about 90 years before we were able to purchase the building for a museum. The first room here, the entrance, was the uh, front of the Baker Mercantile Store. It was a general store like I said, operated for about 90 years here in the Baker community. Uh, we have an agricultural display. This, this whole Baker area was farming for many years, so many of the farm implements and, and things that we, you would see on the farm are um, on display here. We also have a, a large turpentine and timber display. Turpentine and timber was a leading industry that brought many families to this area looking for work and following those industries. Uh, the virgin pine trees, of course, were tapped into for the turpentine, and then the forests were pretty much clear-cut. They, they cut the trees, floated them down Yellow River or Blackwater River to the, um, to the sawmills at Baghdad. So our turpentine display depicts um, the tools and implements that would be used at many of the turpentine stills. These were numerous across South Alabama, Northwest Florida. They worked an area till the pine trees were pretty much tapped out and then they would move the still so they were very mobile in this. And many of the families came here like from the Carolinas through Georgia and Alabama following that industry and then ended up here in, in the Northwest Florida. Our whiskey still is an authentic still from Okaloosa County. It was used in the Oak Grove community, which is north on Highway 2. Um, the Barrow family, James Barrow, owned the still, and his daughter has donated it here for display at the museum. And this is just some of the old washing machines of different era. Um, the old Maytag there on the right was made in 1931. It doubled as a washer and uh, has a um, sausage grinder on there. You can grind the meat in the same, same machine. This exhibit is on the Enzer Brothers Hospital. It was located on Highway 90 West in Crestview from the mid-1920s to the late 19, about 1958 when it closed. There were three brothers and a nephew who operated the hospital. You can see their pictures on the wall there. There were two separate buildings, the two-story burned and then the next one. Many people in the area were, were born there in Enzer Brothers Hospital through the 30s and the 40s. It was the only hospital between Pensacola and Mariana at the time. It's pretty rich with military history in this area. Of course, Eglin came about during uh, World War II, Eglin Field, and uh, so a lot of the local guys served in different branches of the military, everything from the Army Air Corps to uh, Navy Air Force in this area. This was an old printing press donated to us. It was made in 1887. The music section has a variety of instruments and, and um, other history. A lot of uh, the singing school sign up there is interesting. The local churches were, were uh, kind of a social outlet for a lot of people and, and the music was played there in the early days of the county. And, This was the office for the Baker Mercantile Store. We've used it to display a, a lot of old typewriters and, uh, and related items that, that's been given to us. Um, Z.W. Moore family was the original owners of the Baker Mercantile Store. Later, Jack King family took it over. Our library is local history and genealogy. We have many local pioneer family genealogies on the shelf. It includes uh, local school, church, community histories, 
From our library archives, we've produced a series of books, local history, community histories, and topics such as turpentining, uh, shape note, sacred heart singing. Uh, we're continuing this series. We have six to date. We currently are working on a book on Milligan and one on Okaloosa County pictorial history as well. We um, have these in our library. We also have them for sale in our little gift shop. Our little gift shop we call the Baker Mercantile Store in memory of the, the general store that was housed here in the museum. The photograph there under the Baker Mercantile sign is the uh, original building in about 1910, we think. Um, we sell a lot of uh, vintage antique items as well as all of our history books that we've produced here, local history. And all of our proceeds go back to into the museum for operational uh, funds. It, we are a 501c3 nonprofit. This building is the Odahite Post Office. It was a, a small post office general store that was used in a community called Odahite, which is on the in the northwest corner of the county on the northern portion of Blackwater River. This log cabin was built in the 1860s. It was originally located off Shockley Springs Road, just north of Baker here in Okaloosa County. It, was, it belonged to the uh, Helms family. Our second cabin is an 1880s era cabin. There's two rooms with a breezeway through the center that style was called a dog trot style as the dog could trot through the two rooms. This is a new pavilion that we've just added for usage during our events. Uh, Heritage Day and other events we have music. We're still in the process of finishing it with a concrete floor and a stage for our musicians. These are just related farm buildings. The first is a, an old corn crib and the second one was used as a blacksmith shop. These were donated by the Snowden family that lived out near the Beaver Creek community on the west side of Okaloosa County and they were moved here intact.